Good morning, Centurion Vineyard Church family, and welcome to day two of our devotional series, When Jesus Speaks Peace. Today, we're going to look at another relatively well-known Bible story where Jesus speaks the word peace to somebody. It's a story that can be found in Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 25 to 34. It's a story of the healing of the woman who had had a bleeding problem for about 12 years. I find it interesting that the Bible only refers to her as a sick woman. And then it goes on to break down her condition for us. As I've previously mentioned, she had suffered with some type of bleeding disorder for around 12 years. Added to this suffering, it is interesting to note that the Bible says that she suffered a great deal under the hands of many doctors. Verse 26. And added to this, the unsuccessful and probably humiliating and degrading treatments and handlings that she had received at the hands of these doctors had cost her everything that she had. Now, not only had this woman suffered for 12 years, but added to this, she was a social outcast as well. She was a a, a pariah, a persona non grata. By Jewish law, because of her condition, she was considered unclean. By Jewish law, she wasn't actually allowed out in society because anything, any body she touched, brushed up against, came into contact with, also became unclean. If anybody recognized her and saw her brush up against somebody else, she was at risk of being stoned. And she must have brushed up against folk. Verse 24 tells us that not only was a large crowd following Jesus and surrounding him, but it was pressed up against him, jostling him. How could she move through that crowd to be able to reach out and touch even just the hem of his robe without coming into contact with people? There was no social distancing here. But in her total desperation to be healed, to be whole, to be a recognized person again, she pushes, she presses through just to touch the edge of his clothes. She had heard about Jesus and the miracles that he had performed and the power that he had. And she believed that this was all that she needed to be restored. It was her desperation for restoration that drove her faith to be healed. And it worked. She is healed. But it's not without further risk. Because much to the disciples' understandable confusion, Jesus turns and asks who it is that had touched his clothes. There were people all around him, pressing up against him. How could he ask such a question? I personally think that he knew. But he was doing something else here too. Let's look at it. You see, the the woman knew that if, if she owned up to the fact that it was her and people found out about it, that she would in all likelihood still be stoned. Jesus would have understood this too. But still, he asks. Still, he waits. Now the woman can't just sneak away into the crowd anymore and disappear. The crowd stopped. She's trapped. She has no choice. Somebody is bound to notice her soon and recognize her, and then she will be in trouble. So she does the only thing that she can do. Afraid of the possible outcomes, she throws herself at Jesus' feet and owns up. And Jesus, a recognized rabbi who should have been kept apart from somebody unclean, does the unexpected. He doesn't condemn her to being stoned. But rather he says to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. That's verse 34. You see, in touching his clothes, the woman had been restored physically. By saying what he said, Jesus restored her emotionally. He restored her dignity and he restored her place back in society. No longer is she the sick woman. Now... She is daughter. By acknowledging her in front of everybody, by declaring her clean, Jesus gave her the right to be a part of society again. Go in peace, he says, indicating that she's not to be troubled, she's not to be attacked, she's not to be antagonized by anybody for who she had been. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering, he says, indicating that she is healed physically emotionally and psychologically. 
she has been completely and holistically restored. And in that re restoration, peace now comes into her life. What's been troubling you for a long time? What have you lost? What has been taken from you? Can I encourage you to press in, to press through, to lay a hold of Jesus, to hear those words, son, daughter, you have been freed. You have been restored. Go in peace.